Happy April 13th, YouTube. My name is Echi Tarn, and today we will be doing a video talking about the Sylph of Rage. My first Sylph video in two years. Wow. I mean, it's time to give Sylphs the respect they deserve. So, here we go. The Sylph is one of the creation classes of Homestuck, the passive counterparts of the maid, and the inverse of the prince. Sylphs heal with their aspect while also giving their opinion about their aspect which also makes them kind of like teachers as well. If something or someone is lacking their aspect, they will meddle, fix, and heal until the lacking is gone. Their challenge is to act on their opinions and not just sit on the sidelines. However, don't do this to such a degree that you become like Arania, since, like she's shown, just because you're a healer doesn't mean you can't be a villain as well. Now, onto the rage aspect. Rage is the in is the opposite of hope, and has to do with rage itself, the word no, anarchy, hate, or fear, negativity, refusal, despair, and doubt. Since rage is negative instead of positive, it allows people to be expecting of and pray for anything bad that could happen. It is fierce anger, skepticism, and being an immovable object, which can be good since it allows you to say no instead of always saying yes. The Ragebound prefer anarchy and chaos over orderly civilizations that are built on lies and false ideas. This can be good, but it can also make them quite dangerous. Now on to the Sylph of Rage herself. If Sylphs in general are like teachers, then the Sylph of Rage is like a drill sergeant berating her friends with the intention of making them better and stronger, breaking down their softness and molding them into fighters that can look danger in the eye, say no to its ugly mug, and face it head on. They will be especially hard on the hope-bound, or at least especially hard on the soft and weak. As for their powers, their healing would be rather unorthodox. Instead of conventional healing, they more than likely give a sort of anger and hatred fueled power boost to their allies that has a health regeneration side effect for thrown in as well. This power boost would allow them to break out of whatever traps or bindings that their allies are inside of, whether it's physical or magical. A good example for a Sylph of Rage would be Nike Mula who is not only a good example, but also a possible uh, Homestuck sl slash Hiveswap waifu, but that's neither here nor there. Actually, before I even did this video, or even wrote the script, uh, she actually makes for a pretty good example for uh, Sylph of Rage. When she takes you to her hive, aka her Brawl Lysium, I think it is? I don't know. When she invites you to her hive, she berates you and motivates you into trying to ignite your passion for exercise into a roaring flame. Which sounds very much like the example I gave for the Sylph of Rage. And once you've exceeded her expectations, she rewards you with the most pure, precious smile I've ever seen. A smile that you'd want to protect. So. And that way, I guess, Homestuck is more like anime than we expected. So, yeah, I believe that's all I have to say on the matter. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. So, with that, I bid you dudes adieu. Bye!